Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the SRPC99. This is a new version of, uh, it's not quite cocktail time, but it shares the same case, the same hands and indices, uh, but it's got a beautiful new colorway and texturized dial here that we're going to get into. So let me pull it up in front of the camera, give you guys a good look. Seiko, they they do some things so very well. They do other things average, and then they do other things below average. And I found that to be the case kind of across their lineup from their affordables up to their mid-level luxury and then their high-end stuff, Grand Seiko and Credor. Uh, they really excel in some areas and then some areas kind of fall flat or are average. And I would say that that same thinking applies to this new presage. Some, you know, things are just average. I think the strap is average. Um, the movement, actually, let me kind of turn this over and get the camera to focus. I'd say for the price point, the movement is maybe even a little bit below average considering some of the things you can get from Tissot or Hamilton. Uh, I'd say, you know, your butterfly, not butterfly, but your, your signed uh, folding to boy, my camera's having troubles focusing. Let's go back to the watch head. But the buckle, I'd say, you know, is 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 probably average for the price point. Your domed crystal is very beautiful, but again, it's hard lex, it's not sapphire. So there's some things, you know, where you kind of are let down, so to speak. But the thing that really just goes to the next level is the dial. Far above average for this price point. In fact, it's incredibly impressive what they're able to do. And Seiko is no stranger to doing exceptional dial work. You know, from their more affordable pieces up to Grand Seiko and Credor, they really display some skill, prowess, and finesse in not only the colors and textures, but just the level of detail and how much how much the, the, the dial can play and interact with you know the indices and the hands. Uh, this thing is beautiful. So it's kind of a creamy champagne color, a little bit of sun ray effect, but the star of the show is this texturing that, that is very small where it starts there at the hand stack, but then gets larger on the where it you know, meets the outside edge of the dial and where the crystal comes down, where the indices are, the applied indices that are faceted, they're gold tone, they look beautiful. And it matches the date frame and it matches the Dauphine style beveled handset and applied gold Seiko logo. So the look is so good and it makes the watch and it makes the other things about the watch that feel uh, either average or below average, it makes you be able to live with those because of the exceptional job that they did with the dial work. So I'm gonna be putting a lot of macro video, uh, still pictures and images, video of the watch in natural light so you guys can see how much it plays, how warm it is. Um, I mean, it's impressive what they've done. And I think, you know, if you're looking for a fairly affordable dress watch that looks sharp, that can garner some attention and compliments, but without breaking the bank, the Presage line, this is one that you want to take a look at. Sure, the movement's not going to be the most accurate. The strap is not going to be the highest quality. But, um, you know, the case shape, the crystal, the applied markers and everything, um, it's a very good look. It's a strong design. So I'm going to put a link in the description to the Seiko authorized dealer that lent this in for me to present. Mimo's Jewelry, they're an authorized dealer in Southern California. Mimo is awesome. He's a watch fan. He's lent in a ton of Seikos and Hamilton and Alpina over the years. So big shout out to Mimo. And I'll put some discount codes in the description so you guys can pick up uh, these watches from an authorized dealer at more, more like gray market pricing. So there's that in the description if you're interested. Thanks for taking the time to watch today, guys. Reach out with any questions you may have. And I'll see you in the next video.